Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, I keep telling myself that I'm drinking for a good cause. All right, so no intro today, but if you're not familiar with what All Together is, Other Half Brewing in New York basically released an IPA recipe. It was a sort of open source, open-ended collaborative effort, and they said, hey, here's a recipe, here are the basics of it, and we just ask that the breweries that, that make this beer donate a portion of the profits to support hospitality workers that are in their area who are affected by shutdowns during this whole COVID-19 pandemic. So over 700 breweries around the world are participating. 13 breweries in Michigan are taking part, and I wanted to bring a couple of them here for you today. I thought it'd be a cool idea to see how different breweries interpreted the recipe. Uh, according to Untapped, some are New England style IPAs, other are just regular old American IPAs. So I have the offerings from Homes here in Ann Arbor and Transient in Bridgman. Uh, to take a look at today. If you have access to a local brewery taking part, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on these different offerings. And if you're watching from a participating brewery, get in touch because I'd love to try them all uh, and see the different you know varieties of everything that everybody's done, uh, just as many as possible around the state here. I'm looking forward to trying you know several other variations and if I, if I can get my hands on them, I'll bring them to the channel uh, to tell you guys all about it. So let's take a look at the differences in the labels first off and then we'll get them into a glass. No fun fact today. So these are ranging, I believe, anywhere from like, I think I've seen as low, I think Griffin Claw actually was like a 5%, like 5.4%, and I've seen them all the way up to like 7%. I think the Homes is actually rated at 7.2%. So let's take a look at the labels here, and then we'll get them into a glass. So first, I'm going to take a look at the Homes one. On the back, they the other half released like an open source again, like a label that everyone should use, or basically an idea of what they can do. And you can, you know, go as far crazy as you want to or stay as close as you want. So what Holmes did on the front of the can, they went with like a solid, a silver foil um, wrapper with these circles on them. And it says all together India Pale Ale 16 ounces. And at the top, it says a worldwide collaboration brewed to support hospitality professionals. Uh, on, the, on the other side is the Holmes portion of it where they did the same uh, circles that were in the silver side. They did them in purple. And in the center is the Holmes upside down inverted triangle with the lines in it. And then on the side, it says, we are all in this together, hosted by Other Half Brewing. This one's brewed by Holmes Brewery, which is 2321 Jackson Avenue in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and it has the government war uh, warning on here. It says, worldwide beer all together collaboration. Now, this doesn't have an ABV on it. I just picked this up yesterday. I'm recording this on May 9th. I picked this up on May 8th. Uh, yeah, so this there's no date on it, but I'm thinking it's pretty fresh. Again, I think according to Untappd, this was at 7.2% alcohol by volume. Let's take a look at the transient one here, which actually does list the ABV. So if we're looking at the Homes one under where it says India Pale Ale 16 ounces, there's no ABV rating. But on this transient one, we'll take a look at the label here. It has a white altogether label. It says, again, a worldwide collaboration altogether. India Pale Ale, this is 6.5% alcohol by volume. It's one pint. And on the uh, other side, it has a green label on it. It has the transient and it has speciation uh, branches on here as well. Speciation has like this branch, it looks like, but it has the transient paddle on it. And that's what's on the other side of this. And then it says, again, uh, we're all in this together, hosted by other half. This one says brewed by Transient Artisan Ales, 4229 Lake Street, in Bridgman, Michigan, 49106. And it says brewed with our friends at Rake Beer Project and Speciation Artisan Ales. Oh, yeah. So this has the Rake beer project rake on it the speciation speciation branch on it and the transient artisan ales logo on here um, i thought that i read that speciation was doing one on their own but they may be kind of piggybacking on this i'm not sure i know that like uh, eastern market and ferndale they're both you know eastern market brewing company and Ferndale Pro uh, Project are both the same brewery now. So I think that they've done one that's under the Ferndale Project. Um, banner but it's actually on the website for altogether.beer they have both listed so just kind of throwing that out there so we're gonna go this is the transient uh speciation rake beer project beer and i love rake so if you've seen all the any of the videos on rake you know that i'm a big fan of rake and i you know speciation isn't always in my wheelhouse but i do appreciate what they do so i'm going to use my homes tiku for the homes 
glass or the Helms beer. And then I'm gonna use my uh, giraffe therapy glass for the transient beer here. So let's uh, let's open up the Holmes one first and we'll get a taste of that one. I'll get a, a nose on the can here, do what I do and pour it in the glass, we'll talk about it. So again, I haven't had any of these. I wanna just try as many of them as I can just to see the differentiation in them. I'll pour this, smell it, pour it, uh, talk about it, smell this one, pour it, talk about it, hold it up to the light, do all the descriptors, and then I'll drink them and I'll tell you about them. So this one has a bit of a dankness to it. I didn't, I don't have all the details of what the recipe is on hand, but I'll link altogether.beer and I think that they have some of the uh, particulars about what's in the beer. But this one has a bit of a citrus note to it, a little bit of a dankness to it as well. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way and we will pour right here front and center. And it's pretty hazy, but it's also very light uh, coming out of the can itself. It looks almost like a pineapple juicy, really light yellow. Uh, I know that, like I said, some are New England style IPAs. Some are just American IPAs, which sometimes people kind of mix and match and they kind of use both to describe the same thing. Uh, American IPA can sometimes be kind of equal to a Eastern uh, East Coast IPA. So this is the Holmes one and uh, Getting a nice aroma, just pouring it, being able to smell real nice um, aroma coming out of it. Uh, looking at the head here before I lift it up and put it in front of the light, really nice white head. It's almost a brilliant white head, Re really compact, uh, dense bubbles, as you can see from the overhead. And let's go ahead and hold up the light. Really yellow, like I said, a pineapple juicy kind of look to it. Very hazy. Uh, other half is, uh, is known for doing a lot of hazies. Holmes is known for doing a lot of hazies. I don't know the clearest uh, Holmes beer I've ever had, but most of them are very hazy. So this, I'm seeing a little bit of uh, shadow through the glass, but there's not much there, but very hazy. And yeah, getting a, a little bit of a citrus note, a bit of a dankness, a dank note to it. I'm getting almost like a pineapple tropical kind of aroma out of it as well. It smells, smells really juicy, but it smells like there could be a little bit of a crispness there as well. Not crisp, crisp, miss. Would you, I can't even talk right now. Christmas, but a crispness. And this one doesn't have a date on it either. I believe on the Altogether website, they said that they uh, this one was gonna be released. Um, the, geez, the Transient Artisan Ales one, I thought they said was early May, so it's still early May. I'm, it can't be that old, maybe a week or two at the very most. Let's go ahead and crack this and get a nose on it. It has a, a different aroma actually. It's not so dank and a little bit more citrus forward. I feel like the Holmes one out of the can was a lot more um, a lot more dank with a little bit of citrus. And I feel like this one's a lot more citrus with a little bit of dankness. It's real cool that it's a collaborative effort though between Rake, Speciation, and Transient. So you're getting like three for one there, but Rake isn't listed on the Altogether Beer site. So let's go ahead and pour this. It's actually a lot clearer. The color itself, or pouring directly out of the can here, is a lot clearer. Like, I can see through it a lot better. The color is very similar. I want to say that this transient one is a little bit lighter. I'm sorry, it's a little bit... Yeah, I guess it's more like uh, closer to orange than yellow. This one's closer to yellow. This one's a little bit closer to orange. But again, it's they're, they're a little bit different. I don't know if you can tell from the camera itself. But this one looks a little bit cloudier. And this one, same really nice, brilliant white head. The bubbles are actually a lot more condensed, a lot more dense and closer and smaller. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and, and I'm getting about a mm, finger and a half worth of head here and holding it up to the light here. Um, it's a little bit less hazy. Like I can see a little bit more shadow. I can almost see uh, a faint outline of my fingers if I hold them both up. So this is the Holmes right here, and this is the speciation. The Holmes one definitely looks a lot thicker. The, the color is probably really similar, but because this Holmes one is so much more hazy, um, it looks a little bit darker in color. Um, yeah, let's put a nose on the glass here. I'm getting a little bit more citrus again on this. I'm not getting so much of that dankness and maybe like a tail, a really, just a really small, like a hair of tropical aroma in there. So, wow, that's just really kind of wild that they're, that they're that different. I mean, they're not super different, but they're different enough to know the difference. Okay, so this one's, I'm gonna leave the transient one here. I'm gonna leave the Holmes one here. Glasses are gonna be the same, the transient, Artisan Ales beer is going to be here, and the Holmes one's going to be here. I'm going to drink the Holmes one first because that's when I open first. Cheers. A 
light. It's got a nice light mouthfeel. It's crisp. It's got a little bit of a dryness to it. It's got like an opening citrus flavor. And then there's not not really any bitterness to speak of, but after this, when, when you swallow it, so you're getting that citrus up front, but when you swallow it, you're getting this tropical fruit, pineapple kind of um, fruity kind of vibe going on there. And then the finish is just really nice and crisp. A little bit on the dry side, the very end, the finish. This, um, and almost like a sweet, candy kind of flavoring coming through that. I think a lot of that is like this pineapple tropical kind of note. Um, you know, whenever I taste a beer like this, I think about the first one I had like this, which was a transient beer. Actually, it was um, Waterfalls and Rainbows or Rainbows and Waterfalls. I always get those mixed up. And I've talked about that, that particular beer quite a bit because it's la left a lasting kind of mark on me. But this one has a citrus up front, then a tropical uh, flavor, a tropical fruit flavor, and then like a pineapple kind of vibe going on. And the, the, the finish is just kind of a little bit dry. It, it leaves you wanting more. So let's go ahead and try the transient rake speciation uh, version of it. Cheers. This one is a lot more citrus. Again, it's not, the mouth feels a little bit thicker. It's not so crisp, but it's not so clean. Uh, the mouth feels a little bit thicker. What I'm getting is a lot more citrus. I was picking, like the instant I tasted it, it had this, this flavor in my head, but I can't put my finger on what it is. Let's try it again. It's like a citrus flavor up front and the, it actually has a little bit more bitterness than the Holmes version has. The Holmes version, the, the bitterness kind of just, if it's there, it's really very, um, very subtle. But on the transient speciation uh, rake version, it's got that citrus note up front. It's a little bit more orangey, a little bit more pithy, a little bit more zesty, like orange zesty or lemon zesty, more on the orange part. But it has a little bit more of a bitterness as well. And the bitterness that I pick up is actually a bit of a piney, uh, resiny kind of bitterness and the finish is a little bit actually a little bit um, a little bit drier but there's more of an IPA kind of uh, aftertaste that's in there let's get another taste and I think the thing that immediately I picked up on the thing that I couldn't put my finger on before was that bit of pininess in there it's like it stands out. It's like you get that citrus sweetness, but that pininess is there from the beginning, but it's very subtle. And then on the swallow where the bitterness starts to really shine through, that's when you get a lot more of that bitterness, a lot more of that um, that piney kind of taste. I'm actually going to pour more of these, and then I'm just going to try them back to back, and uh, I'll let you know. I'm going to pick one. I'm going to pick which one I like better. Uh, but the the finish is a little bit more of an IPA kind of finish, and this one's a little bit more, a little bit drier finish, uh, but they're equally really good, and I'm really surprised that they're this different. Like, I knew that they were using the base similar recipe, but I didn't think they'd be so close. So let's try this as the Holmes one one more time. Yeah, more citrus again, more like a citrusy, tro the tropical kind of flavor, and the pineapple comes through more now that it's kind of settled, and more that I've you know, poured all the can out. I'm getting a lot more of that kind of pineapple, uh, tropical kind of note. A little, the citrus is still there, but it's not as citrusy. And the bitterness, if it's there, again, it's really subtle. It's really nice and smooth. It's a really good um, balanced kind of flavor. There's not a whole lot of bitterness. There's not a whole lot of overpowering sweetness, but the sweetness is a little bit heavier than any kind of bitterness that I taste. And this one is a little bit more upfront citrus, but a little bit more of like a citrus kind of, um, like I said, a zesty kind of flavor. And then a little bit of a piney note comes through on the very tail, on the finish, on the, um, on the whole kind of aftertaste. You get more of an IPA kind of aftertaste. So that's, again, that's why I did this video and that's why I wanted to pick up both. And I want to pick up, like I said, I don't know how many of the different beers 
uh, of the 13 breweries in Michigan are collaborative efforts again well obviously they're all collaborations with other half but I don't know if they're all like the speciation uh, transient artisan ales rake beer project collaborations or if they're more of these homes kind of deals like Griffin Claw has one Holmes has one Arvon has one uh, Witch's Hat has one Mothfire in Ann Arbor which used to be Pileated they have one uh, yeah, Alpha, I don't know where, Alpha's in Alpha, Michigan. I think that's like near the Wisconsin border in the UP. Uh, I don't know how many are going to make it down here, but I'd, again, I'd love to try all the different varieties and different versions because I really like seeing so how the different um, breweries interpret the, the, the different style or the same style, but the same recipe, but you putting their own little twist on them. So you can uh, be rest assured that when Witch's Hat puts it out, that's one I'm definitely going to be able to pick up because I'll probably see as soon as they post it and I'll go get it. But if you are near any of these breweries and you want to send some my way, I won't turn you down because, I'd again, I'd like to try them all. So enough with me talking. If I had to pick my favorite between the two, uh, I'm going to go with the Holmes version just because I'm a little bit more... I like IPAs, but I like New England style IPAs a little bit more. I'm still kind of into hazies, but they're both very, very good. Like you're not... They're, they're, they're subtle differences, but they're... If you try them side by side like this, you're going to notice a difference. Again, I'd like to try a bunch of different ones, even out-of-state ones, and, and try them and see what uh, all these differences are that I'm picking up. But yeah, so far, both of these are very good, and I think it's really interesting. I mean, they're just kind of like it's splitting hairs to, to pick your favorite, but they're both just really interesting beers, and I'd love to try more of this altogether kind of recipe. All right, friends, those have been just a couple of the All Together IPAs. If you've had one of these, if you've done your own little comparison, tell us all about it in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you, and you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Stay safe and thanks for watching. Cheers.